Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm really excited to announce a new plugin, a free plugin. It's called the Divi Image Helper. And as you can guess from the name, and if you're familiar with any of our paid plugins, this is a plugin that modifies the existing Divi Image module. So we're adding new settings to the module that comes in Divi. It's not a new module. It just, when you install and activate our plugin, there will be new settings that will automatically appear in your Divi Builder in the image module. So let's take a look at the settings we have so far here in this free plugin. I have a blog post written here that I will be sort of following, but you can take a look at that or go over here to the product page. This product will appear in our shop, so you can just head over to the store and download it from there. So like I said, this adds new settings. Let's take a look at what they are. The first thing I'll kind of group together. So when you open the image module, you'll see this new toggle called elements. And we use this because in a lot of the other modules, they kind of have a similar thing like this, where it's elements that are things that show or hide. So in our case, we're showing or hiding the title text, caption text, and description text from the image. Now, the text that I'm referring to is what you would set in the back end in your media library. So right here, I'm gonna click on this image. Um, it's just the placeholder image, but right here, you can see I have the option to put in a title. Here I can put in a caption, and I can even put in a description. Now, again, these are optional things. Um, the title is used more for admin reference, like in the media library, things like that, but you could use it also for the front end, and that's totally up to you. A caption is typically what we would think of maybe as like underneath an image, maybe you want to put the credits, like if you've downloaded an image somewhere on the web and you need to credit the source, you could put that in there. And of course the description, you can describe it. Um, a lot of times you'll see that on a blog post, the description of the image above. All right, so we can turn on and off each of these things. All right, so let me show you. Right here is an image module. You can see image settings. So I open up this new toggle and I've, I've already turned these on, but you can turn whichever one's on you want. It's that simple, right? Now on the front end, it will show like this. Here you can see the title, here you can see the caption and the description. All right, and again, whichever one you want. Now, obviously um, with our plugins, we like to go all the way, so we have design settings so you can style the container which is like the whole area um which, which would be like the whole area around all three of these things okay it's going to be you have padding margin border background color things like that and then inside each of the text things so a caption text right i can choose a font font weight in the color and alignment you know what i mean all all the standard stuff here's the title text and um, the description text. So it's one for each, design settings for each. All right, and like you could see here, this is how it would show, depending on here, I have all three added, so it shows below the image. And if you're looking over here, you can see that there's some setting that gets this under here, and that's right. So also, in the overlay toggle right here, in the design tab. Now this, you might be familiar if you turn on this link or not. If you have that off in the design tab, you'll see overlay, show text on overlay. So if I turn that on, it moves any of the title, caption, and description text on top of the image, so like over it, right? Like not above it, but on top of it, exactly like you see here. And then I've set like a padding on the container, which is why you see like the space here, okay? So that's a cool feature, I think. Now, another thing is the image aspect ratio, and this makes it really easy. So, you know, your clients give you images that are all different shapes and, and you've already have them in WordPress and you're trying to display them in some way, but they're all different shapes and sizes. Well, now you can solve that right in the builder. Go into the first toggle, image. So normally all you have here is this image selector. We've added this setting, image aspect ratio, and it's a drop down. Here you can choose square, one to one ratio, landscape 16, nine ratio, landscape four, three ratio, landscape 3-2, and then it's the, the same ones for portrait 916, portrait 3-4, and portrait 2-3. So whichever you know you want the image to be, you can choose something. So like if I choose square, just as an example, save that. 
Now on the front end, you can see this image is now square. Let's say I want to make it vertical 3-4 ratio. There you go. It takes on that shape. So I really think that's a good feature to have. It's really convenient. I guess here I just show. So anyway, you can go to our live demo website and see all the different features so far. We have documentation and then just head over to the product page and download it. Now with all of our plugins, we like to add new features. So even though it's free, we would be perfectly happy to add new features. So let us know. Um, keep it, you know, within line of adding things that are within the image module. Like don't go too crazy. We don't want to make it into like this whole other plugin. Something that would enhance the image. And um, yeah, we hope you appreciate that. Be sure to check out our membership to get all of our plugins. And we have like a dozen other plugins as well that do lots of cool things. So be sure to check them out. Subscribe here on our YouTube channel. And hey, we'll see you all in our next video.